What's going on guys, Tegan Thomas here and today's episode of FIFA 18 Crimo Richivas we will be playing four games like I said. Um, Tijuana, we will be using our first team against Tijuana as a cut, um, league match. Um, then we're going to be using our second team for the cup match against this team. Because if we use our third team, they're going to be all tired, I don't think they're going to... You know, they're not, they're not gonna have a well rested. They're, they're not gonna be well rested. And then we're gonna use our second team for Veracruz and our first team against Atlas. So, um, if Pizarro can get some goals this episode, especially in the league games, it'd be very cool or amazing because he's in second place. I don't want him to choke like like Salivar did. He Salivar is also back from injury, so we will be starting him on our roster so yeah you guys let's go on with the first game of this episode can he add to the goals he scored already this season he's already the top scorer in the league what a match and it's live top scorer i'm pretty sure he's in second place or something all right guys um Guajara versus Tijuana we're playing home um but the good Points. Um, with good points, obviously, we're gonna try to give Pizarro good passes so he can become he can um, score. We are in first place. Tijuana is in eighth with 20 points in six games. One. Um, my fourth team can give out good passes to Pizarro. All we, all he needs to do is just finish. So if we do that, um, Pizarro's gonna, so hopefully far. he does finish because in the past games, the other teams have been locking him up, you know, so in his area. So hopefully um, he, he scores. <laughs> I just want him to score because I don't want him to choke like Saliva did. So cause that's gonna be, that's gonna suck. So hopefully he doesn't let's get straight to the ground and let's do this, Chivas. Let's go. Nice through ball too high. Pulido, we got Pizarro. Let's go into his outside. Alright, Pizarro. Open up, Pizarro. Shoot that Pizarro. Pizarro with the freaking goal. Get the fuck out of my way. We need some of the right? Freaking nice freaking goal by Pizarro. That's what I'm looking for, dude. For him to open up. This formation, I, I think I got used to it. Um, I've been getting used to it because I've been playing Ultimate Team with this formation. I've been doing like seasons with this, I'm on season with this formation and I feel like I get used to it. Especially that Pizarro is making those runs. I feel like it's, I don't know, he produces. That's what I like, that's what I'm looking for. Big, um, nice goal, very nice. Um, I'm surprised that he actually, I thought it was going to go wide. But luckily it didn't, luckily it went in the back of the net. He has nine goals now. Nice. Gutierrez. On to the attack now. Two ball. Two again. To 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 Pizarro. I mean Pizarro. He already has two goals now. That's what I'm talking about. Go somewhere with the bench. Yes, dude. I was so I was I was trying like the reason I wasn't talking is because I'm sweating my ass off right now. Trying to get Pizarro goals. Ah, but look, I'm glad that he's finishing because back then I was trying hard and he didn't finish like you guys saw in previous episodes that like he never finished but look at that I thought it was offside that's why I'm scared to give him a pass sometimes because he's always offside with the exchanges that I give him but luckily he's not he wasn't and he stays on time, that's what I'm looking for, that's what I like. Um, two goals we lead by two goals now, it's not slack, we still play a little defensive minded on the second half, if we're still up. Nice true ball, can't just look at there, he does get there. Good, nice, oh shoot the Pizarro! Oh my god, <laughs> Give you getting a good performance, I'll give you that, look at that. Yeah, I'm expecting you to finish everything, but at least put it on target, but very unlucky. Come on. Get there, get there, get there. Oh. What are you doing? What the hell is going on? Oh my God. Uh, two minutes have been added to additional time. The Kubo, nice to Pulido. Can you do Pulido? Fuck! Pulido with the goal! 
that's what I'm talking about. There we go, Pulido. Showing up for you the player of the month. Um, good um, passing. We well, um, got lucky sometimes because um, I don't know where it's kind of over it, but look at that gap. We took advantage of the gap. Hit inside. Then the next shot. I, I clicked to shoot like um, 10 years ago, but it took him a while to shoot Pulido, but luckily when he did, it went in. Look at that. Hell yeah, dude. Giving out good performances every day. That's what I'm talking about. It's a little surprising that it is as one-sided as this late in the game. But the team leading. It's all over. There is the final whistle. Can't get much better than this, really, Alan. Should win and keep a clean sheet. Yeah, I think that'll be the pleasing aspect of it, as well as the three points, the clean sheet, uh, particularly the keeper. Larger for that. Alright guys, second game for this episode, um, we're going to get into a team from Colombia, we're going away, the final game of the cup matches, so next stop is going to be the playoffs for this, um, and the playoffs for the league, so we got a lot of work to do, some of our players are really tired, wait no, the only one that are tired is Pineda, but he has a sub in, we can sub him out if he gets really tired, um, we're in first place, as you guys see undefeated, and I student is there in second place. So oh no nice to the yeah, student is in second place. Really so that if you can get himself. two goals or three goals it'd be amazing to get a hat trick this game, right? But that. We got this. It's not that hard. We'll give you some passes so you can finish. We're gonna treat you like just like Pisado in league matches so you can get yourself some goals. Here is the so, starting lineup for Deportivo Cali. Yeah, let's get straight to the ground. Let's I think get that it. Back four is really important. I wonder if they could be a fit on the front foot. We'll wait and see. Oh gosh. Our first chance. No. He can't put them in oh my god, that was really close. Mistake by Gavindo, one of our centers back. So oh wait, what was that? I see the automobile. Mistake by defender. Can't be doing so that. Come on. I like the look of this attack. But it was an early foul. I think it's right for the referee to say, yeah, well, that's a free kick. And, you know, you can't do that. Hey, penalty. Yeah, give me that penalty. We're going to let it be, um, be so I take it, so. Oh, man. I think he flopped. Look, it looked like he flopped, but let me see. Yeah. <laughs> he ran into the defender. Um, oh my gosh, I already know who's going to take this. It's not him. Um, hopefully, hopefully, not really good. Oh, there we go. There we go, Brizola. At least one more, at least one more or two more. So, a lot of pressure, mate. Very nice goal for Ness. Oh, good placement of the penalty. Look at that. I was gonna go right, but I felt like he was gonna dive on right, so that's why yeah, he just went left. Very good, let him get happy. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Give him some more passes so he can get top score of the cup matches. Let's get it. Got a bit of menace to it. Snedos looking to Snedos. Dude, that from there. She's Snedos. What a nice shot. Nice um, save by the keeper also. Dang. She's Snedos is actually giving out good, a good game right now. Giving out good runs. Especially with that shot right now. This corner brings us hopefully something good. Swung in from the corner. Got that. Oh. Oh. Very oh. close. Another corner. corner. Back to back corner. See what this one brings us. Nothing. Nothing. Nice. Took the needle. You guys just stop me. Oh. What a mistake. Again. Oh my god. Nice opportunity, dude. The friend, he was going to miss anyways. He was going to like shoot it wide. So. Got a corner in their hands and see what it brings taken. us. We're not really good with corners. Out 
What the hell was it? Oh my god. <laughs> what a nice save by Tonyo, saving our skin. On match day six now, we are coming to the end of the efforts in the group stage of this tournament for these two teams. They've got 45 nice. minutes still to play, and here we go. Player. So much to Pineda. Pineda. Oh my god, what a save the by the keeper. Nice no, um, it will be shot to Pineda, to be fair. I mean, I guess you could save it. Can this be? Isola? No, Isola! Shoot that! Oh my gosh, Danny. Danny Lino, what the fuck your name is. Ah, come on. Throw ball to Pulido. Pulido, you're through. Come on, Pulido. Give me that, Pulido. Come on, Pulido. What the freak? Nice throw ball to Ronaldo Cisneros. Ronaldo. I bet you for a reason, Ronaldo! That's the reason a freaking Brad you went to score. That would have been um Brizuela scoring the goal if it if I didn't sub them out, but luckily I did because Brizuela was pretty tired. He did get a goal, so to be fair to him, he did get a goal, so <sighs> luckily he scored. I'm telling you bro, none of my players open up like they don't care anymore, dude. <laughs> and it sucks cause I mean I don't know, it's probably cause they're different overall or something. A different set of skills, but I don't know. They don't make runs like I want them to, but thankfully Ronaldo Cisneros was there to do it. Right, so three minutes have been added. If we can just keep possession. Oh, can we have one more chance? Do we? Shoot that. Get saved. We still have a corner? Can you just blow the whistle, Rev? I'm not going to try anymore. My players are he tired of corner. shit. Away oh by the I'm just going to pass it back. Because I'm a nerd. Alright guys, so that's the final whistle of the game. Our players are exhausted, dude. We need a break, like honestly. Hopefully we have a whole week to get rest. At least seven, six days at least, or five. Because Pineda has like zero energy. He's like, if he coughs, he's like dead or something. But, um... Thankfully we won, um, thankfully Prisuela scored a goal, I mean, I expected two, but he was pretty tired and I didn't want to like injure him or anything, so yeah, we won, on to our next game. Alright you guys, Veracruz versus Guadalajara, um, going into this game, very really motivated, pumped, using our second team. Um, you see the exception that Pizarro is playing. Um, Pizarro from now on is going is going to be playing every single league game that is left. Um, so he can um, have enough playing time to be the top scorer of the league. And Brizuela for the cup matches, the ones that are left for the playoffs. He's going to be playing every single one just for him to get more goals. So, joy for the visitors. Question mark. I mean, now that is the guy ahead of points. I don't know. That's actually new. I have not seen that. But, who wants to see a Veracruz player? Chivas, let's give it everything we got. Whoa there, Bukuru. Get there. No. No. Oh, what a fucking slide tackle by Marin. Nice, I love it. Nice through ball. Look for Chovis. Chovis can finish. Chovis. Yes! Chovis with the goal! That's what I'm talking about, Chovis. Oh, yeah. Lalo, I'm sorry. Your new nickname is Lalo. I forgot. No one calls you Chovis anymore, right? You reincarnated to Lalo. Very nice goal, dude. Damn it, dude. My, trying to pass it to Pizarro, but... Ah, you see? Man, I don't know. Very nice, nice goal. Damn it, dude. I really wish that would have been Pizarro, but... At least it's a goal um, from one of our players. How many goals does Chopi... I think this is like his second goal of the season. For Lalo. Let me see. 
His fifth go no freaking way. Okay, you need five more, bro. You need five more. Anything's po anything's possible. Okay, so we added two more minutes for additional time. Everyone in the team is doing fucking horrible. The defenders are actually uh, good defending. Excellent work with the tackle. But our passes are just freaking horrible. Like honestly, like I don't even, uh, I don't <sighs> The only good one that gave out a good pass was our one of our youth academy players. Da, I'm, we're gonna call him Da Nonino. He's like a fucking yogurt or whatever. But he only did one pass and he, that was the best one out of the whole freaking uh, I don't know dude. I, I don't know how you can fix it, like my team pass is so trash. <sighs> but we ended with the win. Um, an average performance, not a good one, just horrible passing, but let's go on to our final game of this episode, to finish off the season. Our main feature today on EA TV, two great clubs, it's coming up for you live. Alright you guys, El Clásico Tapatio is here, Guadalajara vs Atlas. Um, we're going into this game with new instructions with certain players. We're playing our first team, obviously. Um, I gave out new instructions to certain players for them to give out um, better passes. We're in first place. Um, Atlas is in eighth place, so it's, the, it's up to us to let them go into La Liguilla or not. Because I believe, I believe if we beat them, I don't think they're going to make it to the playoffs. But I'm not sure though. So if we end up tying or losing, I guess they're still going to be in uh, an eighth place. I'm not sure. All I know is that if we do end up beating them, it's going to be a chair on top because we beat our rivals, um, America. So if we beat this team, uh, Atlas is going to be something very the cherry on top. Um, uh, Jael, Brizuela and Pizarro have new instructions for them to give out better passes. Hopefully it works out because we're struggling even to do the simplest pass. And I guess this team was meant for them to do like crazy ass passes, you know, but I guess I'm not really good at that, just in general, like in game. But I'm going to try them out, let's see how it goes and hopefully we get that dub. Let's go Chivas. All right, to Brizuela, what can you do? Finish that Brizuela. That's what I'm freaking talking about, Brizuela. You finish that shit, dude. That's what I fucking love. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Good shit on opening yourself and doing that run. Out of everyone, you actually do it runs, dude. That's, um, I guess that's... I don't know, dude. Pizarro is meant to be in a position where he do, he's meant to do the runs on default. But he doesn't do them, dude. I don't know why. But thankfully, um, Brizuela was there to actually score. He has six goal. He's the second one that um, might be on the top scorer of the league. For our team, he's the second top scorer of our team, so. Oh my god. Nice tackle. What I'm talking about. Shoot that. There we go. Was it that hard? Did he die in the attempt doing it? No. That's what I'm saying, dude. You didn't die, right? You're still alive. You're more than alive, bro. You're freaking living life right now, dude. You see how it's not that hard to shoot on target? Jesus, dude. That right there cost me my whole life right there. Making, making sure he scored the scored the goal. Look at that. Such a lucky goal, dude. Oh my god, Pizarro. You score those goals that look hard, but you don't score the easiest ones. Oh my god. At least you scored good shit. Made the challenge well. Was a foul. That's got a hurt kick, honestly. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, shit, dude. That's, that shit looked like it fucking hurt. Props to you, though. I love what you're doing out there, Gutierrez. At least you're doing something. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, dude. Proud to you, Atlas. That was actually... I, I actually like what you did there. Oh, that was actually nice, dude. Because that's what we get for fucking doing the stupidest thing ever. We can't make the simple passes. I'm glad we're getting punished. Oh, man. I should teach you not to do nasty passes next time. You fucking dickheads. No, I'm kidding. That's fu No, I'm just kidding. I thought fuck you. I'm, we're going to destroy you now. Nice. Treads it through. Nice through ball. You shoot that bullet with the frick. You see, that would have been new piece out but guess what? At least he knows how to finish. Nice, gold. <laughs> Yo, I'm, Jesus, I'm making fun of my own players, but it's not my fault, dude, that they don't want to score, dude. They have the opportunity and they don't take it. Ooh, we're back. Um, we're up two. Who wants to come in? Um, nah. Actually, yeah, come, go ahead, go ahead. Good goal by Pulido. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Good shit on stepping up. Good stuff. Keep running. Oh, yeah. Shoot that. Yo, we punished them for doing their own mistake. That's what I'm freaking talking about, dude. But I'm I don't know, do something. I guess that could be a celebration. That was a nice volley. Was it a volley? I don't know, but big mistake by the the defense. Look at that. Um, he's trying to fucking do it. Look at that. You see? I'm glad we actually took that chance and finished. Man, I did not mean to cross it like that. I was trying to cross it low, like a low cross, but uh, it went into like a medium cross. And it ended up being an um, Atlas mistake, and we took advantage of it. All right, three minutes have been added to additional time. Hey, sir, how is that not a foul? Fucking ref, you're taking a piss right now. Fuck him up. Jesus. Really, bro? Are you gonna get the ball today or maybe tomorrow, dude? There we go. You see how we struggle with the more. <sighs> okay, um. End of the Classical Tapatio. Ended with the win. We actually did good. We did a good performance, except at the end. We that's, At the end is when we fall, dude. At the end is like when. When like the 87th minute mark happens. That's when we like we go trash like honestly we everything we do does not work out But luckily we finished with the win against half class now our objective is playoffs for your La Liguilla and for the cup matches Best 11 of the week full of our players Jesus Sanchez, Cesar Montes, Nelson Araujo, Jael Sandoval, Rodolfo Pizarro, Isaac Grisola, Angel Saldivar and Adam Pulido so that's fucking amazing. Our trio's up there. Angel Saldivar, Pulido, and Pizarro. Um, well, how the best can win in form? Duh. What is the one like? You see how like well, how to defeats rivals? What, where is that? How come we don't get one? And these these guys get one, but we don't. How? All right, guys. So this is how the table ends. The um, play the teams from ninth to eighteenth place. That's how the season ends for them. They're going to have to look to next se next season to um, do better. Veracruz sended only with one win, dude. Out of 17 games, one win. Seems like them. Um, Necaxa and Atlas, bro. We beat Atlas, bro. And they're still on top um, of Necaxa. I, I guess it's a written story. I guess we're meant to... Atlas always makes it to the quarterfinals, but that's the farthest they get through. But you never know. We're not going to underestimate them. So our rivals, America, finished in third, third place with 33 points. We obviously won 17-0, something that in real life will never happen, will not happen. I don't like saying never, but um, most likely it won't happen. We will probably get first place, but not with that kind of results. Um, and how the tournament um, looks like for the Liguilla. 
another Clásico Tapatío. We're going to have another Clásico Tapatío in our hands. Tigres is going to versus Unam. Last time that I can that I can remember that Tigres versed Pumas in the quarterfinals, Tigres raped the hell out of Pumas, bro. Literally, like, Tigres was like, you're my bitch. And Pumas was like, all right, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine, bro. It's fine. Then in the other side, we got Pachuca versus Monterrey. Um, I'm betting my money on Monterrey. I, I want Pachuca. I want Pachuca to win. But I feel like Monterrey, just because, like, EA and everything, like, the stats, I feel like Monterrey's going to get through. Even though I want um, Pachuca to go through. America versus Santos, realistically, I want Santos to go through. But I hope um, that America goes through so we can fuck them up in the final, bro. That's what I freaking want. Um, so that, so yeah, that's how it looks like. Now we're going to go see the cup matches, so the cup tournament. All right, guys, so this is Group D. We're in Group D. Let's start that again. All right, guys, so Group D. Um, we finished first place 6-0 and with 18 points. Estudiantes, a good team. Um, they went 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 and two. <laughs> I think I said two four times, but... Um, they got eight points out of the whole, um, all of, out of all the matches. Um, group A, Unam did not make it. Um, Boca Juniors and America, Boca Juniors made it and America didn't, if I'm not mistaken. I think the, f um, first and second teams make it or not. River Plate did not make it. Santos did though, during first place. And how the tournament looks like. We're going to versus Estudiantes uh, for the quarterfinals away and... Oh, wait. First and second leg. And then Santos and Boca Jr. are going to be in the other side. Which really no one cares, but... That's how the, um, the tables look like, you guys. So, how I'm going to do um, next episode... We're going to do quarterfinals. We're going to do four games. We're going to keep doing four games next episode. Then... Next episode is going to be obviously um, cup matches and league mat, um, Liguilla. So we're going to play the quarterfinals next game for Liguilla and quarterfinals for cup matches. So we have Estudiantes and Atlas in our way, for a, in, in the way, so that we can pass to the final. So if you guys enjoyed how the um, top scores ended, it's still not over. Well... It's over for Querétaro, so I'm pretty sure only if Funes Mori um, puts on the pedal to the metal um, on scoring more goals because his team made it, um, he probably catch up, but Querétaro, Camilo, then is not going to make it. He, he, he's over. He has no more matches because his team did not make it. But Pizarro, if he stops, if he keeps on, he has stops lacking Pizarro, right? The most assist, Polido. Damn, look, almost our trio, Polido, Pizarro, and Cisneros, the top three, look at that, beautiful, Salivar is almost there, he has five, so he's probably going to catch up, hopefully he does, our clean sheets, Cota, with seven, there's still um, playoffs to play, you guys, so this is, this is not over, this is just like the end of the season, basically, but next episode is going to be um, all quarterfinals, yes, Atlas and Estudiantes, so if you guys enjoyed and stay this long, thank you very much. Um, thank you for the support. Um, subscribe if you're new because I'm going to be coming on with more videos of FIFA. And see you guys later and peace.